Okay. Well, welcome to the, the Boland Brewery. Um, we're based here in England's smallest town, Bashall Town, just outside Clitheroe, uh, and uh, we brew real ale here. This is uh, Maris Otter, pale Maris Otter barley, uh, and this is being malted at uh, Castleford, which is in Yorkshire, which is unfortunately, but there are no maltsters left in, in Lancashire, so uh, we have to get it from Yorkshire. Um, and it's, it's a lovely product. It's, um, it's what sort of forms the, the, the sugar we can then convert into alcohol. Um, so it's a vital part of the process and it's a, it's a, a traditional brewing barley. Um, it's not just any old barley, you have to use proper products that are suitable for brewing. Uh, so the next stage is to add the hops in the copper, in the boiling copper, and the, the hops provide a number of different things for us. Uh, they provide flavour, they provide bitterness, they provide a natural preservative and uh, so the skill of the brewer is uh, to ensure that as little of those uh, bits of grains get through into the rest of the process because they would cause all sorts of problems. Uh, and so for an hour and 20 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, um, we're balancing the flows in and out of the, the mash tun, washing the sugars through, um, extracting the right amount of, uh, of sugar for the next stage of the process of fermentation, um, but not extracting certain compounds that, that also come out. So uh, it's, it's quite a, an involved day, 10 hours typically to brew a batch uh, and in that time there's very few moments when you're sitting down wondering what to do next, you're, you're fairly busy through the whole 10 hours. It's, it's a great area for brewing because there are loads of local themes and legends and stories that we can use in, in the naming of the beers and uh, we have great fun doing it. And uh, over the years we've sort of developed uh, all these different uh, stories and in fact we, we've now sort of culminated and we're actually launching a range of beers called Ales of Boland uh, and the idea is that all of them will have a quirky story that maybe people elsewhere aren't aware of that, that tells something about the Forest of Boland and we've got everything from natural heritage so we've got Hen Harry and Sky Dancer, our bottled beers, uh, the Hen Harry is a symbol of the Forest of Boland and it's uh, a very rare and beautiful bird um, and this is one of the last remaining areas where they're being protected and developed and Hopefully the numbers are, are on the increase. Headless Peg is, is about Peg O'Neill, um, who was a, a local river, a water spirit just down the road at Waddo Hall. Uh, and uh, the story is that um, she uh, went out one, one evening on uh, New Year's Eve to go and get some water from the well uh, and uh, slipped on the ice and broke her neck. And uh, the, the curse was then on the river that every seven years Peg O'Neill would take a life. And there was a spell when Every seven years, for about 35 years, somebody did die in the river and they even ended up starting to, to sacrifice chickens on New Year's Eve to try and appease the, the, the evil water spirit. I, I got into this um, because I love making things, I love real ale. Yeah. And a friend of mine started a farm shop uh, and had some spare buildings. Yeah. And I was looking for something to do after a career in manufacturing. I wanted to run my own business. Yeah, we, we brew um, probably uh, at any one time we might have 10 beers in the cold store uh, and there's always something new coming in or a seasonal beer that we only brew at certain times of year so okay. we have a lot of beers. This is uh, a bottle of Sky Dancer which is a 4.5% uh, gold nail. We use uh, a range of hops from uh, Europe and, uh, and England and also New Zealand that have uh, the combination comes out of a lovely sort of soft citrus and peach flavour. What could be better than making real ale in the heart of the kingdom in, in Lancashire? Yeah. Mm, cheers. <laughs>